room. Let me know. I'll move some more bricks. Filler. Oh shit. <laughs> Ball and cave on everything. Oh, oh. How far? We gotta have another layer of brick on this side. We could after we moved in, that motherfucker. I left this here for a reason. <laughs> I'm ready to take the bitch out. That's the one I kept bumping my head on. I had it there to, you know, hang stuff. Yeah. And we have to move that whole pipe to, to really finish that ball. Just some two small ones. Yeah, I need them over here. You need some broken? Right Let's there. See. That'll take care of that spot. Let's see if I can break one. Maybe not. <laughs> Remember, we got some bricks underneath your feet, too. How many more small ones do we need? Here you go. There are. Here you go. Not sure. Oh, that would be a lot better. Thank you. Yeah. All right. You take a look here and see which way we need to go now. This is this is your menagerie. Yeah. No, sir. It's ours. All right. We're gonna have a problem building this side up with the dirt. Yeah, that corner. Unless we just stick them candy cornered across there. Off from the top of that tile. Because the bricks are, the outside bricks are coming down later anyway, right? Yeah, this, this, this. No, yeah. that's staying. This side's staying? All the brick is staying. And we have to take this one down so we can get this uh, pipe out. Okay. And move that wall back. And we're going to have, it looks like we've got a problem over here. We can't pack this good because there's, we can't put bricks here. Let's see if I can. Well, that's what I said. If you, if you set some caddy corner like this. Oh, like this? Yeah. Hey, let's take this. Hell, that'll work right there. And we can pack the mud. Yep. Okay, uh, grab a shovel full and we can... That way we can keep this where it stays. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. I don't know the quality of the, the camera. I hope y'all can see this, but uh, if not, uh, sorry. I'm a slave labor. <laughs> I heard that. There you go. That's packed now. So All we right. can see if I can get some more filler. So I have to less work for me to come back and. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Reed. Even if you can take some of that and break it. And Narrow pieces to put in there. Well, we're gonna turn you off because I don't know if you can see this or not. I hope you enjoy what you see, and I guess the next video you see is us lighting this bitch up. Mm -hmm.
Oh. I'm Ranger Kiki, and this is Robbie Guy. Building a clay stove at the hobo. That's all. Well, I'm Ranger Kiki, and this is the Grumpy Guy. We out here building on my my mind's busy. <laughs> We're building on our clay stove, and Mr. Grumpy wanted me to teach him or show him how to build the clay stove, and this is the four burner clay stove. So me and him is going to build on it. So I hope you enjoy before the sun goes down. Well, don't forget we're on cam now, so watch what you say. <laughs> you mean I can't say no dirty words now? Oh, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll find if you want me that. Is in the wrong spot. I have to lift it up so you can see us. Damn you, boy! All right, me and Grumpy is out here uh, building our clay stove, and he wanted me to show him how I build my clay stove and showing it on hands on hands. Oh, he hands on me or something. And I'm going to get some clay for the, uh, of our clay bin, or clay, whatever you want to call it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know I shouldn't laugh, but it is kind of funny. You hear me grunting, grunting and moaning, huh? Yeah. Hey, use this as filler too. I, I, I don't think we're about filler at all. We can filler. Oh, that worked out just pretty good right there. <laughs> yep, man, Grumpy is using all the resources we have around our camp to uh, build the clay stove. We have old Roman pipe sewer. Damn, where the hell that came from? All black. Hmm. <laughs> Probably the tiles. Well, that one piece over here plucked, plucked yeah. into that up just really good. Huh? 
One of the best thing is, but I have to bring it out before we pull that tile, but don't forget that. Yeah. Well, actually, it won't hurt if it stays in there, will it? Uh-uh. It might crackle, but it's inside clay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's concrete, it ain't gonna hurt it. A little bit in because I had to pull the pipe in from that round circle. There you go. Yep, use what you got in the woods. And I got plenty of this trash. So I'm going to use every day I can just to fill this sucker up. Going back and forth with buckets of clay is not a picnic. I can attest to that because he's grunting like crazy every time he goes after something. <laughs> that old wash bucket? That's what you were sitting on. Yeah. Yeah, I knew what it was. That's... All yeah. right. Uh -huh. Let's leave this for a shovel. Uh -huh. Ooh, it's going to take another load. Damn you, boy! At least one. Maybe two. Two. I got to have the high as this brick. So to get that airflow. If you don't have it high enough, the airflow is not I, going I to go need through. A half a brick. Half a brick? Yeah. Uh, there's one. Half a brick. If you, yeah, if you have to move that table, move it. I got tons of these bricks from that old house over here. Look out, look out. Damn you, Cookie. Shit, don't get hurt until the job's done. <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess I go back for another bucket. Have you got uh, Have you got another empty bucket? Yeah, I got a bunch of empty buckets. Well, you ought to bring two bucket pulls. Oh, one both hands. And yeah. Really grunt. Yeah. As we get the clay packed in, these tiles right here, there's one here and one here and one long ways in the back. These will be the feed holes for the wood. And we'll then we'll be making a hole here, 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 and here at the top for the flame to come through. And the tile here in the back is just serving to keep us a, a, a tea funnel so that the smoke will filter through and then come out the chimney back here in the back. So that's what we're packing around the, the clay and the brick in for right now. It's just getting the framework set on it. And I think whenever it's done, I think it's gonna work really, really well, we'll probably find out here in the, tomorrow or the next day. I, uh, my full intent was to come over here and spend four days with Ranger Kuki. Here at his camp. And, Help him do this and 
few other things he's wanting to do. But uh, when I got here, God, I like these camps so much. I probably changed my plans. I was going to leave here and go to the DeSoto National Forest in Mississippi and then spend a few days out there. But I'm thinking, in case unless Cookie just runs me off, I'll probably just stay here for a couple weeks and work around here at his camp and visit and what have you while I'm here. Because I just really like his camp. And I will say this, and Cookie's sitting right behind me, so I'm not saying nothing that he don't know I'm going to say. You guys that have seen Cookie's camp on video, you ain't seen his camp. You've seen bits and pieces of it. I'm telling you, this camp that he's got here, the video does not do it justice in any fashion. This is a fantastic camp he's got here. I love it. I'll, uh, I'll say, I, you know, this is not my first day. I actually got here yesterday and stayed the night last night. And absolutely love this camp here. But I'm telling you, I'm going to have him shut the camera off. Because I'm going to go over here and sit down on a stool and have myself a cup of coffee. Oh, oh, oh. So we will be back in a little while. I'll tell you what, don't let nobody kid you. I found out Ranger Kooky is a slave driver. <laughs> I was thoroughly enjoying my coffee break over there. And he told me that I couldn't nurse the coffee for the rest of my life to get up and get back to work. So, here I am back at it again. I, uh, got out here yesterday. And found out I'm not in quite as good a shape as I thought I was. And I overloaded my pack, just to be honest. Had trouble toting it, so to get out here. But we made it. Between Ranger Kooky and me and a, another friend of Kooky's by the name of Mike. He come out come out and helped us carry our stuff back. So Appreciated all the help. But you know, I've not denied the fact that I'm definitely out of shape. You know, I've talked about the fact I've had some major health problems this year. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to get out now is I'm feeling better. And, you know, at some point in time, I'm going to have to do it and get back into shape, so I figured this was just as good a time as any to get out, enjoy the fine weather we've been having, get to spend time with my friend, get to spend time out in God's nature, and I'm definitely into all of that, so... I, I wish y'all could hear Kooky. I can hear him coming for a half a mile. Uh, 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 you think he's toting something heavy, you know? I pick up something every time I go to the bathroom. We come from. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps doing. He keeps doing this. He'll build up muscle. That, I'll tell you what. Now don't let nobody kid you. Old Kooky here, strong as a darn ox. He is, he is. You've done a good job. You got a good load that time. And this one's a, this one was hey, we need to get a different can right here. Alright. Oh. That can is not gonna cut the mustard. Okay. Let me make it bigger than that. There you go.
I'm mainly talking whenever you guys are, so you guys can have something to l listen to besides me sit here in Tampa and start now. I'm just giving you some something to complain about. Then why don't you just shut up, Grumpy? Looking at my old bald head that I normally have my hat on. Keep people from looking at the slick spot on my head. <laughs> Moved the can for a fire hole. Can't be doing that. Stop that can from moving. While I fill in back here, get this tamped down a little bit. Oh, the son of a gun! Miller time! Bush time doing bushcraft is a bitch. It's hard work. Oh. No. Oh. 